couple years ago, I made an amazing discovery when a tomato plant just sprouted up in my backyard. I didn't plant it, no, none of us planted it, it just grew there all by itself. And the testing geek that I am, I had to check those tomatoes for orp and see what their orp was. So I pulled a tomato off the vine and I cut it open, put my orp meter in it, and I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised, that I had a negative 50 orp. So let's follow this. This is, I mean, this is huge. If you get this, your entire life is going to be changed. Remember I said earlier, the spark of life? That tomato, when it's negatively charged, has the spark of life. So I got really excited about this and I picked a bunch of those tomatoes and I put it in a bowl and about an hour later, I went back and I cut another one open to show a friend who'd stopped by and I said, you got to see this. And I put the meter in the tomato and it was positively charged. 26 years of nutritional research all came to a head at that moment and the light bulb went off in my head. And I said, it's the spark of electricity that's contained in living things that give us protection against disease. It's not the vitamins, it's not the minerals, it's not the fiber, it's not the enzymes. Those are sustenance. Those help you to live and to survive. But as we know, you can have all those things and still be sick as a dog and still get a disease. The spark of life is the energy, the living energy of food contains when it's on its system, when it's on its vine, when it's in the ground, when it's in its energy source, it has that energy. So I wanna demonstrate something that we discovered that's just amazing. Here's a tomato from the store, fresh from the grocery store, and as you can see, it looks wonderful. It doesn't look old, it doesn't look rotten, it's, it looks absolutely beautiful. What we wanna do is we wanna cut this tomato open I'm going to take my ORP meter and I'm going to put it inside that tomato. Now let's see if I can juggle this all at once so everybody can see what's going on here. Now here we are in the tomato and it is dropping but even if I hold this an hour it's still going to show as a positive charge. Now remember when this tomato was on the vine it was negatively charged. So now what I've done here is I've taken some standard alkaline water, just a 9 pH Chanson ionized water, and I've put a bunch of fruits and vegetables inside here, and I want to show you what happens now. So let's take this, our standard store-bought tomato, we'll set it off to the side. Here's one of our tomatoes that have been in the 9 pH water, and notice I've, I was very careful not to break the stem off. I didn't want to create a pathway for water to go in. We'll cut this open. Take our meter again. I hope I don't squirt this all over my shirt here. Can we see that? Anybody getting excited? I'm excited just looking at it. And here's my favorite part of this whole demo. Mm. The flavor is unbelievable. We have taken dead material and we've revived it. Unless you have a garden growing in your backyard where you can go out every day, pick your fruits and vegetables, put them in your mouth, you're getting dead sustenance. Dead. When you have one of these alkaline water ionizers from Chanson in your home, you have living energy to revive your fruits and vegetables with. You can do anything. Broccoli, living broccoli. We've got living broccoli here. Strawberries, living energy in the strawberries. Tomatoes, heads of lettuce, cabbage, cucumbers, peppers, whatever you want to name can be brought back to life. Now it's kind of a weird um, comparison but I like this comparison because it's, it's so accurate. And some people are starting to call me Dr. Frankenstein. Now, let's think about this. What did Dr. Frankenstein do? He took a dead hunk of flesh, he put some metal bolts in its neck, 
raise it up to the roof, lightning, electricity comes down, living being from dead flesh. We're doing the same thing. And if the water can revive the fruit and bring it back to life, what do you think it's doing to the cells in your body? I'm telling you, it's, this is just not theory. We've been eating our fruits and vegetables like this, and I've been getting the feedback from customers for almost five years now. Even though I made this discovery a couple years ago, we've been rinsing fruits and vegetables. We just didn't know that the water was doing that to the fruits and the vegetables. So this is what, what an incredible discovery. And it's not just for fruits and vegetables. Anything you eat can be soaked in that water. Nuts, seeds. If you're making tea, you can make the tea with the water. It's just endless. If you're a meat eater, you can soak your steak or your chicken in that water beforehand. Make it more alkaline, put energy into it. Did you ever think why animals are naturally, um, their instinct is to kill? They don't, they don't have this desire to kill. Remember how I gave the example of the dog whose senses bring it to the muddy puddle? Well, that animal in nature wants electrical current. They, if they don't get it, if they're not vegetable eaters, like let's take a lion for example. That lion, when it goes for the kill, it's doing it instinctively because when it kills and it takes that blood into its mouth, that is living electrical energy from a live creature that it's getting. Do you see? It's really no difference than if we pick the tomato off the tree and we get its living energy into our mouth immediately, or if we were animals in nature, we would get this living energy. But the lion, they do a kill and they get the same living energy. One thing that I found really fascinating is in the wild animal world, they don't have the sickness that we have, the cancer rates, the diabetes rates, the animals. I'm talking about animals that don't wash their hands. They don't rinse their fruits and vegetables. They roll around in their own poop and pee and they're living longer and healthier than we are. Do you think one of the reasons could be that they eat live and they get this electrical energy in their body? Incredible.